Yo, welcome to Wizlow's Cars, and today we're going to be reviewing the J1772 48 amp EV adapter by Electron. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, y'all, welcome back. And if you're tuning in for the first time, go ahead and mash that like and subscribe button, share a couple videos if you like the content. But let's get into it. So today we're gonna be talking about the Tesla to J1772 48 amp adapter. And that's gonna allow you to convert your Tesla charger over to a J plug, which is pretty much a universal charger or basically a charge port that a lot of non Tesla vehicles are using. So this is going to be available on, you know, your Kias, your, your Fords, your every, pretty much anything that's not a Tesla, you're going to have this available to you. So this adapter comes in a nice little box here. It's not super big. Um, honestly, setup is a breeze. All you have to do is literally open the box. There's an instruction packet that comes in here. You don't really necessarily have to read it. There's also some, you know, a little bit of instructions on the box as well that kind of just gives you some, some guidelines, right? So it tells you the compatibility. So it tells you that you can use it at Tesla destination chargers. You can use it at home for a level one or level two charges and convert those over to J plugs. So if your friend comes over to your house and maybe they have a car with a J plug and you only have Teslas at your house. They can literally, you know, charge at your house using your level one or level two charger, or they can go to a Tesla destination charger if they are in a jam and they need to charge their vehicle. So that's pretty dope that you kind of have that level of autonomy that you can that you can do that. Be mindful, right? I'm not trying to see any of y'all pulling up at the supercharger because it won't work, right? These don't work at superchargers. And if you're at a supercharger, your credit card information or your card information is attached to your actual car. So that's why these don't work at the Tesla supercharger. So don't let me catch y'all pulling up to the Tesla supercharger talking about you about to charge your J plug car up. Anyway, so just going back to, to setup, right? So as you can see, this is super compact. Um, you can literally store this anywhere. You can fit it in your pocket <laughs> if you wanted to. You can put it in a center console. You can put it in your glove compartment. You can put it in the side of your door. There's so many different, you can put it in the trunk. There's so many different places that you can store this and, and kind of have it readily available for you. That's kind of out of sight, out of mind until you actually need it. So I think design wise, that was pretty dope. And it's really easy to use. So um, again, just to reiterate, this is the J plug piece. This is the um, inbound uh, adapter from the Tesla. So that that's way that way you can see it plug in right there. So that's going to be formed directly to the Tesla charge port. And what's going to happen is after you take this out the box and you're getting ready to use it, all you need to do is take your Tesla charger and insert it into this adapter and it's going to click once you insert it. So this so this part here is going to click and that's how you know it's going to be secure. Once you're done doing that piece, all you have to do is just make sure that your um, Tesla charger is plugged in to the wall. If it's a level one charger and make sure or if it's a level two charger, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's, it's plugged in and then you're ready to go. All you have to do now is plug this into your vehicle with the J plug and you're literally off to the races. You're charging now and you should have peace of mind. So you shouldn't have any range anxiety or anything like that because now you have this available to you to charge your vehicle. So I think this is, you know, pretty, pretty dope. It comes in two colors. So there is a black version and there is also a white version of this as well on the website. Now, the price point on this at the time of this video is $149 on the Electron website. I believe it's marked down right now, and I think it usually retails at $179.99. Now, there are a couple ways that you can actually get this. So you can actually go to Electron's website, 
or you can order on Amazon if you feel so compelled to. Um, so there's multiple ways that you can actually get one of these if you're interested. And I've also included a link below in the description. So that way you can check this out for yourself if this is something that you may potentially be interested in. But I think this is definitely one of those accessories that you should have in your arsenal if you're gonna be one of those people that are, you know, doing road trips and, and, and constantly going different places. It kind of just puts you at ease, so to speak, that you can have the ability to charge your car um, wherever you go, right? Or a lot of cars actually come with the chargers already. So in those cases, you're fine. But in any case that you may be in a jam and you may only be around, um, you know, Tesla chargers, destination chargers, or home chargers, I think this is a pretty good option. So if you're in a market for an adapter, I encourage you to put this on your radar and check it out. Now, I will say that one of the things with this is, I think since this is new, you're gonna have to, when you press this button to release it, it's, you know, it's gonna give it a little, it's gonna be a little stiff. So you're gonna have to give it a little jiggle at first just to kind of get it back out. But don't be alarmed. Um, don't fight with it or anything like that, but just kind of hold this down and hold this button down, this release button, and just kind of give it a steady pull. Um, so that way, you know, you're, you're kind of easing it. And as you use this more, it's going to start to loosen up and you'll be able to kind of just get it in and out of that J-plug charge port. So. Again, check it out and let me know what you think in the comments.